One of my biggest challenges whenever I'm traveling with my laptop is how do I get it to match the same experience that I usually get with my desktop? So meaning I want to be as productive as I'm working on my desktop and of course be able to edit videos, produce content and so on. All of that on the go in a very productive optimal solution. Well, today we're going to check out the solution that ZBet offers us for our laptops. I'm talking the ability of adding two additional displays to your laptop, making it into more of a desktop experience. The ability of ergonomically raising the laptop with the air stand to allow us to have a better setup so that you're no longer hunching down on your laptop. And last but not least, a wireless keyboard as well as a wireless mouse to be able to step back a little bit and get a better view now that we have a bigger canvas to check out. And of course, all of this needs to be powered, so why not also have a power bank to support all of this? This is TK, and this is my review of the ZBEC portable solution on the go with the display, the keyboard, the mouse, the power bank, as well as the air stand. Let's check them out. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. And let's go ahead and start talking about the ZBEC system that I have. Now, I will say that I've been using the system for actually over a month and a half now. I've been using it for some time. Uh, one of the biggest things that I wanted to do was use it on the go, meaning I wanted to travel with it on a couple of events. And the last couple of weeks or so before the Thanksgiving holiday, I had the opportunity to go to both the MediaTek and the Qualcomm summits. And of course, they were in different locations, but that was one of my true tests of how to use this system on the go. We're going to talk about the components, each one individually, and then also talk to you guys about how the different configurations that I was using it. Because I didn't just use it straight up on my laptop, because obviously that would be the easiest way to do it. Uh, but I also used it with my uh, on-the-go, basically the uh, Surface Pro 9 5G, which is a tablet slash key, uh, laptop experience from a uh, Windows on ARM type of a solution. But I also had the opportunity to use it with my MacBook. So PC, MacBook, and Windows on ARM. And last but not least, I also had the opportunity to use it with DeX using my Galaxy Z Fold 4, because that's one of the opportunities, one of the things we can do. So we'll start off by looking at the tri-screen 2 configuration that we have. First and foremost, this is two additional 1080p 10-inch displays that are going to be added on both the right and left side of the display. Now, they're mounted within in their own uh, little kind of an enclosure that you have to pull up with the two tabs that we have on the side. One of the biggest things that we can definitely see here is, again, two 10.1-inch displays. They're 1920 by 1200, full HD LCD IPS panels, non-touch configuration, running at a 16 by 10 aspect ratio at 60 hertz. So no touch configuration, but full configuration control over from the display, and you can customize the arrangement of those displays in the configuration of your PC. Be it Windows or Mac, you can set that up, of course, and get it configured the right way you want it. Now, these are going to be ideal for laptops that feature a 12 all the way up to a 20 inch display because this is somewhere in between. It's not trying to mirror what your main display is going to do. It's providing you auxiliary platforms to be able to put additional content. For me, the best configuration I was able to do with that was to run my DaVinci Resolve timeline and main system configuration on the main screen and then run my preview panel on the right screen and on the left side I ended up putting my pool, my data pool, uh, the slides, the video clips, and all of the things I want to basically put in into my timeline, making it a very efficient configuration. Now when I used it with that I also brought in my controller. This is a USB type A controller that I like to use that also augmented by the keyboard and the mouse allowed me to actually be a little bit more functional, again replicating my home setup on the go. Now, the big thing I will probably say is the air stand that they included in the kit that they sent me was one of the better options that I didn't realize till I started using it. The ability of raising the laptop a little bit out off the table allows it to do a couple of things. A, provides us that better resolution of basically seeing the display right in front of us also provides better cooling because the airflow on the bottom of the laptop is no longer constrained from being close to the table. Now you lift it up and you're allowing things to go through. The air stand itself does have some openings in the middle once you open it up to allow some airflow, so depending on the fan configuration that you have. If you're using, well, if you're using it on a MacBook, you're not going to have any problems since there's no fans on the bottom. But for me, on my Acer Concept D, we actually have some fan openings on the bottom, and that actually worked very well. That was basically the configuration for the Tri Screen 2. Very easy, very simple. When you're not using it, you put it all together, and you house it, and you're able to carry it with you in your laptop bag without adding too much bulk. Now, I one, will say one thing though: it is a little bit thicker than your laptop because at its core, it's can, well, basically, it's including the interface itself, for basically where you're able to pull out and put in. Uh, push in the displays, but also it includes the housing for that to be able to mount it on top of your display. Now, that specific configuration works in a couple of ways. You can either mount it directly on your display, which works really nice, or you can have it set up to the side of your display since it includes a kickstand on the back and it can stand on its own. So you can actually kind of move it along and put it away. Um, the cables that they include in the box with the displays does have an extension cable so you can actually push it out a little bit. 
Now, I connected it in a couple of different ways depending on the system I was running. On my PC with my Concept D, I used my HDMI and USB-C. I didn't have a lot of ports there. And one of the things I really appreciated there was that power bank that they included. Although it was intended to power MacBooks and obviously PCs, it does provide enough power so that I'm only using one cable on both sides. So the, HD, uh, well, the HDMI output that I have on the laptop and of course the USB-C on the right, allowing me to have two additional USB-A's on the right and, and a, well, the third USB-A that I have on the left side. So I can actually connect my controller, my external drive, any additional peripheral that I'd like. Very nice, very easy. The displays are very clear. You can, you're can you actually able to configure the brightness, uh, the color ca uh, configuration on both displays. And one of the really nice things I did when I was using it with my uh, Surface Pro 9 5G, I decided to use the second display on the right as my Samsung DeX resolution display. So I was able to run content straight from my Z Fold 4 straight to that right display. And on the left side, I was able to run that additional display. Even though it's a Windows on ARM, it's a Surface at its core, so it does support external displays. And of course, this works just great. So again, a lot of functionalities and a lot of things you can do there. And what I loved it with the Surface Pro 9, I was using one of my USB-C ports to be able to charge the Surface Pro 9 from the power bank. And of course, the second one to run the first display. And then the second display was getting powered directly from my Z Fold 4. It takes us into the keyboard and mouse option that we have in here. Now, these are both Bluetooth mouse and keyboard configuration options that we have. They connect directly to your PC via Bluetooth. And one of the best solutions I loved about them is that they're small and they're thin. Uh, the keyboard does come with a little bit of a sleeve that allows us to keep it protected. And it does have a little bit of a uh, kind of like a stand option to raise it if you don't want to use it in a flat configuration. And it does work really nice and it connects over Bluetooth, no, no issues. The battery life is actually pretty decent. And what I love about that, if you don't use it for a while, it does kind of go into a standby mode, but it does wake up right away. So if you start typing on it from standby, even though there's a slight delay initially, it actually starts showing the things that you typed on the display. Very nice, very simple, and again, you can charge it via USB-C. They include a cable for you in the box. So really, really good configuration. The mouse, very good, small, ergonomic, uh, connects to your PC very nicely. Uh, if your system on a Windows, you just have to turn on the connection option and it'll pop up with a small window on the bottom right side. You connect it and you're ready to go. Now, the power bank itself is a 20,000 milliampere battery power bank that features a USB-A and a USB-C port. The USB-C port is gonna be that one that powers your laptop, especially if you're running a Mac or even a Surface Pro 9, a Windows PC that utilizes USB-C power. And that's gonna be the best configuration there depending on the system that you're using. Now, let's talk a little bit about traveling with a system like this. There's obviously many components on top of what you're normally bringing with your laptop and the keyboard and uh, well, your normal laptop and the power, uh, power bank that comes with it or the brick that comes with it. Um, I will say that at, at least for me in Los Angeles, uh, the LA, uh, TSA did require me to take this out as it includes two additional screens that are larger than standard smartphones, but some other airports didn't. So it depends on where you're going. My recommendation would be is just if the airport requires you to take your laptop outside of your bag, take it out with it and put it on the side uh, and allow for a little bit of additional space. It is, a it is a little bit, I would say about double the thickness of my laptop on its own. But again, this is compensating for the fact that it has the mechanism to hold on top of the monitor. And I love the fact that I was able to put the keyboard in its sleeve inside of the case, uh, inside of the, where the display normally goes when I'm packing it. And I put the mouse and the power bank uh, on the side with the cables. And it was actually pretty easy, very simple, and it's pretty lightweight, roughly about two and a half pounds uh, within all of those accessories on their own, obviously excluding the laptop. So would I recommend this to anybody looking to improve their mobile production system and be more productive and very efficient? Absolutely. If you have ever tried using multiple displays or external displays on your laptop, this is the solution you want to do. What I love about ZPEC is that they actually thought of the entire ecosystem. It's not just solving one problem. It's solving one problem and augmenting and improving other solutions that you didn't even know you needed. The wireless keyboard and mouse, at the beginning, I didn't really know why they included that in the system. But then when I raised the monitor, raised the laptop, pushed it back a little bit, opened up the displays, it made more sense. It was too much for me to be close to the laptop to be able to do all of that with that much real estate. You want to step back a little bit. And that was the functional thing. So it's really good. And I love the way that they did that. And of course, you can customize it to whichever way you want. You can either get it in combinations. They have different options there or you can buy them individually. But at the, of course, at its core, the TriScreen 2 is basically the center or the hub of this entire experience. You can have it mounted or having it sitting on the desk. It's going to work great for you. Um, I do want to say thank you very much for Zbeck for sponsoring this video. I appreciate them sending me this hardware and allowing me to test it out for an extensive amount of time and actually travel with it a couple of times before publishing the video because I felt like the experience of using it at home is going to be one way, but this is truly an on the go, but definitely very workable at home of a solution. If your laptop is your main PC, 
this is a great way to make it a bigger PC without having to buy another computer or a whole bunch of other things. Literally, the setup that you're getting there is pretty straightforward and it allows you to do so much more. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. I'll see you in the next video.